everybody, it's Tim with Collect Jurassic. We're back with another bite-sized review for these Godzilla vs. Kong figures. Yes, I have to say it in front of each of these videos. I know this isn't a Jurassic toy, but um, it's just something I like to look out of the channel here of these Godzilla figures too. We did it with the last movie, so I really wanted to do it with these new movie figures. I'm not a big like Godzilla person. Uh, I mean, I definitely liked it as a kid, but uh, the movie toys have always kind of been my thing and like even with like the old Godzilla movie with Matthew Broderick like I love the toys so you know when these new movies come out I'm always getting after the toys and this one's no different um and there's actually these action figures from Playmates Toys are very cool I already checked out Godzilla on the channel um now I'm checking out Skull Crawler which is very cool from the Kong movie in the MonsterVerse um finally getting a proper toy I guess they'll be in Godzilla vs Kong so yeah this is the Skull Crawler with H-E-A-V. It's some sort of vehicle in here, or heave, as it's called. Um, and yeah, I mean, here it is in the package. I love this toy packaging. I mean, it's so cool. It reminds me of Jurassic. It's an open window. Everything's kind of carded and um, stuff's in the blister. Figure's nice and secure, but you can still kind of get a look at all of his details and everything. So very cool. Uh, and a kind of a cool display for Skullcrawler, too. You can see the battle damage front and center um but yeah playmates toys makes this the packaging obviously has all kinds of godzilla vs kong looks like right here we've got a render of the um school crawler but right here it says heave stands for hollow earth anti-gravity vehicle so um yeah i guess there's a hollow earth in the new movie and then you can see all the other figures they're coming out with down here too which is um which is exciting and we're reviewing more and more of those on the channel too so definitely stay tuned but uh, yeah school crawler that's the package. Uh, you know, I went over the package for these toys in the other videos. So I'm not going to spend as much time. But you got Kong. You got... Oh, sorry, you got Kong. You got Godzilla. Looking very cool up there with that blue tint on Godzilla. But let's get to the toy, right? So I'm going to put this aside. Uh, these things are kind of hard to get out on camera. So I already opened one up over here. Um, and this is the Skull Crawler figure unboxed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and slide this back so I have room. So um, the first thing that struck me about this figure was the artic articulation. You know, the Godzilla figure really does not have that much of it. But this guy's got, um, he's got uh, articulation ton of it so he can rotate all of his both his arms at the shoulder and the same thing at the elbow they can rotate and they can go up and down so this guy can do like all kinds of of, of crazy like all kinds of crazy stuff um his his uh his wrists don't rotate which i feel like kind of could have helped this guy do a couple more cool poses too maybe like a couple hinges there but as it is i mean he does some really really cool poses with just that limited articulation in the arms of course the tail also has articulation like godzilla it's on a ball joint so it rotates around but um really adds some some length to this figure um See, this was a design in uh, Kong, the movie uh, Kong Skull Island, which, um, you know, I thought was okay. Uh, the Skull Crawlers were cool, but I've always been a fan of Godzilla, so um, I didn't get into it too much. I will say I feel silly because I thought the Skull Crawlers didn't have eyes. I thought that this had hollowed out eyes. Turns out that's like a nasal cavity, and these things actually do have eyes. You can see it right there real clearly on both sides. He does have an eye. And of course, the jaw opens too, so he can you know, bite some figures, do whatever he wants. Um, but that is, oh, I, I forgot the heave too. We got the heave, um, the the hollow earth anti-gravity vehicle. So you can see how it scales right there with it. it may, obviously these are huge animals uh, in the movie, these kaiju. So this tiny little heave, it's kind of cool. Um, it's definitely got some nice detail on it. I will say in person, when you t feel it, it's definitely a little cheap. Um, you know, this seems like it's a, I don't know. Uh, not even like micro machine quality it's hollow for one thing um so uh, not a lot of budget on this guy but there's nice detail there all things considered looks like there's like jet engines and stuff it's got a little painted black cockpit so i guess when they go into the hollow hollow earth they might end up facing some skull crawlers uh, um uh, but yeah, besides articulation and the, and the heave that comes with it, we do have that really cool battle damage. On this figure, it's huge. I mean, it's the whole back piece that you can rip off to reveal, um, you know, that bloodied red spine. So uh, pretty fun. Uh, the, I would say like on, on uh, Godzilla, the battle damage really fades away once you put it back on. This one is still, it's pretty obvious that it's there. It's a big giant lined back piece. So doesn't uh, doesn't go as low profile as the Godzilla one does. But um, all the same, uh, you know, still very cool. Uh, Skullcrawler, 
from Godzilla vs. Kong. I think this is going to be a popular one just because we have plenty of Godzilla and Kong figures to go around, but not a lot of other monsters for them to battle, right? So we finally have a couple here with Skullcrawler, um, and it looks great. And I'm looking forward to some of the other ones. I mean, we saw on the back of the package they have this uh, Warbat here too. So I'm uh, excited to get a couple more monsters to fight but yeah i think that's pretty much all i'm going to say about skull crawler here so thanks for watching i'm tim with collector Jurassic, and uh i'll see you at the next review